today we're opening up some Duskmorn bundles. We've got the regular Fab Pack and the Nightmare Edition Fab Pack. This is the Collector's Edition. It was twice the price of the normal bundle, uh, but it does come with some real goodies. It's strange that it's so much smaller. I kind of expected it to be the same size and it's not. So that's interesting, but we're going to start with the regular fat pack. It comes with nine play boosters. We've got this cool set art here. We've got the logo at the top, the chandeliers. I'm not sure I love this color of like mint. I'm not, I don't know where that comes from, but, oh, I guess it's on the, um, hold on. It's like part of the pack art. So it is part of the set art. That makes sense. So you get nine play boosters in here. You get an oversized die. You get um, 15 uh, traditional foil and 15 regular basic lands, some full arts. You get a alt art um, foil promo card, and you get a box to keep your cards in. And then it's got some explanations on stuff. Fight to survive in a house of nightmares. We do these all the time, so I'm not gonna... Um, dive too far into it but let's open her up and see what we've got all right open it up i really love this so they do the treatment on the planeswalker logo for like every set and i really love the duskmorn one it's like a staticky television here's our insert which is two creepy kids and then on the back side Oh, it's like a movie poster. That's sick. I love that. These have been pretty lackluster uh, for the last few sets, so I really liked that. That one's a good one. Just gonna put that over here. That's really cool. I might even frame that. P.S. Bach did the art for this. That's really awesome. I love it. So if you don't know, a quick rundown of Duskmorn is it's a haunted house Lots of horror tropes, lots of movie tropes. Um, it's really fun. It has shaken up standard in quite a good way. There's a lot of powerful things going on. Um, a lot of powerful cards coming out in this set. Here we've got an insert that helps keep the box from collapsing in on its itself. We've got some punched out tokens on both sides. And then we've got some art tokens here. These are really good to determine or delineate which rooms are locked. Rooms are a new um, rooms are a new. Hold on one sec. Rooms are a new. Okay, I am live. Good. Um. Rooms are a new enchantment type where you can unlock one side and then you pay to unlock the other side and having kind of cards like this that help you delineate which one is w unlocked is really helpful. I don't really use these too much, you know, as someone who plays a lot of magic, I've got some cool counters for stuff like flying and death touch and plus one plus ones. Most people use die anyway, so. It's nice to have. Again, these bundles are kind of designed to start a collection. So a lot of people um, don't necessarily get the bundles for continuing their collection. Here is the oversized spin down. Really cool green and purple with the butterfly set logo on it. And I love these oversized spin downs. I use them all the time as much as I can. And then we've got our nine play boosters. Cool. And we've got our nice little box. Here we have our full art lands. Oh, make a mess. 
Actually, I'm gonna separate those two so I can put garbage in one. We've got some full art lands. These are done by Dan Mumford, who's one of my favorite um, poster artists. And he's done a few magic cards over the last few years. He most notably did a bunch of lands for the Innistrad block a couple years ago, which was fantastic. I still feel new to magic, and yet I have stories and experience from like years ago. So it's a little odd, but I'm getting used to it. And then this will be our foil lands which will include our foil Grievous Wounds. So here is an alt art Grievous Wounds in foil. This is done by Fajarika Saitawan. Saitawan. Grievous Wounds is fun. Enchant player, enchant player can't gain life. It's expensive, it's not very powerful. And then we've got foil art versions of the Dan Mumford full art lands and then foil versions of the basics. Very, very cool. I should grab some sleeves. Oh, I've got a pile right here. My desk is a mess right now it's just like stacks of magic cards everywhere i'm not sure trying to keep it all organized i really need to just spend an evening and organize it all so we're gonna sleeve up our grievous wounds first rare ready to go and then we're just gonna jump into it i'm so excited to open this nightmare pack that um oh actually let me grab some water I'll be right back. So it is a horribly rainy day outside. Perfect day to open up some magic cards, especially magic cards with a spooky vibe. I also moved my camera over a little bit so it's more in front of me than off to the side here. And I think I like it. I think I just need to do something with this um, Alex unit, the side of it maybe. Who knows? Shall we get into the packs? I want to open the nightmare one. So let's get in through these guys quickly. I'm going to put that pile of packs to the side. So booster one. Let's do this. I feel like maybe I should move the camera down a bit more so I don't have to hold my arms up. Let me do that. Let me just move this down. Okay. How's that? That's way better. Bring my chair arms up a bit. Awesome, okay. So we've got a Horrid Vigor. Great little combat trick. We've got our first room. Meat Locker Drowned Diner. Possessed Goat. Oh, I'm missing my camera. Most Valuable Slayer, cool. Crack Skull. Say its name, give into violence, bottomless pool locker room, 
Cynical Loner. That's me. Fear of Infinity. We've got Greenhouse, Rickety Gazebo. Our rare is Waltz of Rage. Cool. And then we've got a Peculiar Lighthouse in Foil. And a Boiler Bilges Ripper. And a Nashi Art. Cool. Waltz of Rage, huh? Pack number two. Piranha Fly. Cool. Terrifying, but cool. Unsettling Twins. Rampaging Soul Rager. Friendly Teddy. Spectral Snatcher. We've got a Grand Entryway Elegant Rotunda. A Glassworks Shattered Yard. Let me get into our Uncommons Glimmer Seeker. Vengeful Possession. Midnight Mayhem. Unwilling Vessel. And our rare is a Ley Line of Hope. So the Ley Lines are undoubtedly pretty bad in this set. We've got a Full Art Mountain. And a Foil Dazzling Theater Prop Room. And a Beast Token. Nice. Most of the ley lines are bad. Um, ley line of the void reprint in black is pretty okay in the sideboard. It's also just nice to have a reprint of a card people use a lot in like Pioneer and stuff. Piranha Fly, Unsettling Twin. This is the same pack. Ramp. It is the same pack. Friend. It is the same pack. Oh my God. No. Okay. We finally got a different card. Trapped in the screen. Bear Trap, Same Commons, Overgrown Zealot, Conductive Machete, Osseus Stick Twister, Trail, Trial of Agony, and our rare is a Ley Line of Resonance. Probably the only like decent Ley Line. Uh, Winter's Intervention in Foil, and we've got a Murder? Murder art card. The Ley Line of Resonance is being played quite a bit in the red aggro decks right now. And honestly, you're only hoping that you get it in your opening hand and you don't ever have to cast it. We've got a Flesh Burrower, Unable to Scream, Fear of Immobility, Hand That Feeds, Innocuous Rats, Wary Watchdog, Clammy Prowler, Crackling Slasher, Miasma Demon. Oh, put that in the wrong pile. Sheltered by Ghosts. Ooh. Arabella Abandoned Doll. Whenever Arabella attacks, it deals X damage to each opponent, and you gain X life, where X is the number of creatures you control with power two or less. And then our rare is a Mirror Room Fractured Realm Mythic room card that's cool we got a strangled cemetery and a foil meat locker and a gremlin token cute little mogwai i did a draft of this set with some friends when it came out and we me and another person at the table both drafted blue white enchantments we kind of cut each other a bit but it worked out pretty good i won more than i lost so i think i went two and one it's a really fun set to draft um monstrous emergence twist reality nowhere to run norin swift survivalist cool 
skull snap nuisance and a ley line of the void. We've opened three of the f five ley lines already. Coordinated clobbering and foil. Oh, here's the even better tokens for the rooms. These ones are real nice. Sweet. So yeah, we have three of the five ley lines already. This is pack number five. No, we have three left. This is pack number six. No. Yeah, pack number six. Grab the prize. Pendage Amalgam. Manifest Dread. Enter the Enigma. Friendly Ghost. I would highly suggest drafting this set. There's a lot of cool things to do. Um... It's like a complete contrast to Bloomboro, where Bloomboro you had to play within the kindred archetypes, rats and otters and bunnies, yada yada. This one is a lot more open-ended, but there's still some really tight um, gameplay elements. Fear of failed tests, and our rare is a split up. One white white for sorcery, destroy all tapped creatures or destroy all untapped creatures. Interesting. Our planes and a slavering branch snapper and an ad card. Boo. Boo ad cards. You don't have to advertise Magic the Gathering in a pack of Magic the Gathering cards. I've already bought the cards. Okay. Pack seven. Cautious Survivor. Dagger Mom Megalodon. Shepherding Spirits. Grab the prize. Appendage Amalgam. Malevolent Chandelier. Grand Entryway. Fear of Abduction. Violent Urge. This is a good card. Sporogenic Infection. Right of the Moth. And our rare is an Enduring Curiosity. This card is good. It's a great build around card in draft. It's a great uh, card in the new blue white tempo deck. Gremlin Tamer is another one. And we got some sick Waltz of Rage art. Awesome. And they just announced that next year's kind of tournament structure is going to feature mostly standard, but a little bit of modern. So. Get those standard decks going. Figure out what you want to play for next year. Possessed Goat. Piranha Fly. Rampaging Soul Rager. Snatcher. Flesh Brower. Unable to Scream. Glassworks. Slasher. Splitskin Doll. Defiant Survivor. Inquisitive Glimmer. And our rare is an Entity Tracker. Another good card in that Tempo Deck, Bear Trap. And another token card. All right, we've got one left. One left. Another Possessed Goat. We got so many goats. Another Piranha Fly. Rampaging Soul Rager. Oh my god, these are all the same cards. Bear Trap. Seas from Slumber. Shrewd Storyteller. Lionheart Glimmer. This is amazing. This, The opponent I had that was also drafting blue-white enchantments picked this. Um, I think I picked something better over it, but this card absolutely stomped me at one point. Twitching Doll is our rare. We got a Plains and a Foil Flesh Burrower and a Shard Token. Well, that was not super exciting. I think the Inquisitive Enduring Curiosity is probably our best get from that bundle. 
might be worth a few bucks um, down the road. But it's not too bad. We got a lot of standard stuff. We got a few ley lines. Got some good dual lands. We got a ton of these bear traps. Found footage. Yeah, I'm excited. <clears throat> so that's it for that first bundle. It's pretty cool. Um, now we're going to open our nightmare bundle. So this is sometimes when Wizards puts out a set, they, um, they release the normal bundle. And then a few weeks slash months later, they release a collector's edition which is usually called I can gift gift edition um, and it'll have like one collector booster in it and a different die and different art on the box but generally it's kind of the same thing this one which is twice the price of the Regular edition is more like the Phyrexia All Will Be One um, complete edition. It's a completely different package. It's a completely different um, set of things in the package. So this is it. It's a little TV. It's quite a bit smaller than the normal edition. It's got this little hologram on it. So it turns into a ghost and a spirit. And then it has the Duskmorn logo on the front. And then it's got television stuff on the side. Got a little duct tape there. It's got a nice little retro sticker. On the top, we've got the insert movie poster. So this is like set up, put it on your shelf. It looks like a little television. It's got all the knobs and dials. Uh, I'm excited for it. Let's take a look at the back for the ghoul who has everything it has one of three borderless cards with art by tim jacobus and one of three exclusive movie poster cards whoa then we've got 20 traditional full art foil ma manor lands so the dan mumford ones then we've got Special Oversized Nightmare Bundle Glow in the Dark Spin Down Life Counter. That's gonna be cool. And then we've got six Duskmorn Play Boosters and two Duskmorn Collector Boosters. Plus Duskmorn House of Horror Nightmare Bundle Deck Box, two reference cards, three double-sided movie posters. Sick. Let's crack this bad boy open. Do I want to slit that? Maybe I do. Is that going to be glued? Yeah, that's going to be glued. Let's just open it the normal way. Rip that bad boy. Oh. Oh yeah, that's different. Open it up. Slide this out. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna put this box to the side. Look at that, okay. Whoa. Shoot. Okay, one, one thing at a time, Wyatt. Let's pull these out. So we've got our Duskmorn kind of foily thing, which goes in there. And then I'm just feeling already, I can tell that this poster is, came in the box bent. So these are like full-size movie posters. Okay, they're not super full-size, but let me hold it up to this camera. We've got the Gorio's Vengeance card. And then on the other side, we've got some card art. And then here we've got 
That's terrifying. And then on the back side, we've got Living Dead card art. So there's a secret layer that came out with these fake movie posters as cards. And then our bent one, which is very unfortunate, is... Oh, it's the Archon of Cruelty. So the back side is... That Tim Jacobus art. And then the front side is the Archon of Cruelty movie poster. Pretty damn cool. I wonder if they're like a standard post like easy to find poster size because I wouldn't mind framing those I don't think and then here oh my god okay this is insane I love this already this is the deck box I'm gonna bring this up close look at this it looks like a VHS double pack it's got the movie stills on it the quotes This is so cool. And it just looks like two movies in a double pack. And you open it up and there's some packs in there. That's so cool. Just having that like sitting on your shelf. I wish it was maybe hard. I feel like it being paper, I'm not gonna actually use it for a deck box. Whereas if it was like plastic, I might have used it. That's so cool though. I don't know how many of you grew up at Blockbuster at the movie stores renting VHS tapes, but I sure did. And that's amazing because that just brings back so much nostalgia. All right, let me rip this bad boy open. So this should be our lands and possibly, what did it say on the box? One of three exclusive movie poster cards. We've got our lands. Oh, we get a full play set of each. That's cool. Okay, they're not in here. Lands. Good to have. Oh, here we go. Nightmare Bundle sealed product, not for resale. So this is going to be our special card. We've got two collector boosters. We're going to save those to last, I think. And then we've got six play boosters. So you still get quite a bit of cards in this Nightmare Bundle for quite a bit more money. It's about twice the price. Let me open this bad boy up. And our... Oh, there's two cards in here. Okay. Let's see what they are. Boom. Ooh, Crypt Ghast. sick and then we get Gorio's Vengeance nice return target legendary creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield that creature gains haste exile it at the beginning of the next end step that's super cool I mean, I love the Crypt Ghast as well, but there's something really neat about that Gorio's Vengeance. I'm going to put these in my little card holders. Okay. So now we just crack into these packs like normal. Oh, wait, we didn't talk about this. So this is our collector's edition spin down die. I kind of was hoping that it would be a cooler color. It looks like 
screen on there. Maybe they're just trying to show that it glows in the dark. It's weird. Um, but yeah, same logo, same vibe. I'll have to put it in the sun. We can check back later, see if it's um, glowing. Well, let's open some more packs. So these are going to be the exact same as the previous packs we opened. Play boosters. I'm finding out that most people aren't a fan of the play boosters in draft or limited. Uh, I like opening them a lot more than I like opening general boosters, draft boosters, but I can understand why they would be a little bit more complicated for draft. Vicious Clown, Bale Merc Leech, Branch Snapper, Glassworks, Cackling Slasher, Fear of Burning Alive, Attack in a Box, Unnerving Grasp, Baseball Bat, and our rare is a Thorn Spire Verge. Nice. Nice dual land there. Foil Mountain, Rampaging Soul Rager, an art card. That's sick. I love these uh, dual arts or these dual lands that um, don't come in tapped. Tap for red, but also tap for green if you control a mountain or a forest. Very cool. I right, pack two. I'm still like amazed at that deck box. I hope someone makes like an actual plastic one so I can take it to. F and M's and stuff. I want to put my actual deck in there. Don't make a sound. Trapped in the screen. Anthropede. House of House Cartographer. Oblivious Bookworm. Live or die. And our Nope, that's not it. Cursed Windbreaker. And our rare is Demonic Council. Ooh. Look at that art. It's so good. Full Art Swamp, Foil Fear of Immobility, and a Glimmer Token. Nice. That Demonic Council art is so good. Babs Web. Shout out Babs for that art. Very cool. All right. Next pack. Tunnel Survivor. Fear of Surveillance, Turn Inside Out, Fear of Dark, Bashful Beastie, Clockwork Percussionist, Glimmer Light, Shrewd Storyteller, Dashing Bloodsucker, Under the Skin, Paranormal Analyst, and our rare is Nashi, Sweet Moon Boy. Okay, you got Tamio in the mirror yelling at him, keeping him safe. Love Tamio. We've got a fear of imposters in foil and a treasure token. Oh, that's a cool treasure token. And a manifest token. Sweet. They don't do double sided tokens very much anymore. It's really annoying. They always take advantage of the space to like advertise shit. It's just annoying. Just annoying. All right, next pack. Fear of the dark. Bashful best, bestie, beastie, tunnel survivor. Emerge from the cocoon. Turn inside out. Cackling slasher. Clammy prowler. Paranormal Analyst, Unwanted Remake, Growing Dread, Infernal Phantom, and our rare Chainsaw. This one's cool. When it ETBs, deal three damage up to one target. Whenever one or more creatures dies, put a rev counter on Chainsaw, and then equipped creature gets plus X plus zero, where X is the number of rev counters. So this is kind of like, um, 
attachable meat hook massacre a little bit. It just sits there collecting rev counters. And then it gets better and better and better. Really cool card. Forest. Stay hidden, stay silent, and foil, and another glimmer token. The chainsaw really, really, really cool. Especially if you're running like a sacrifice artifacts deck. You can just like get those rev counters up really high and then swing once with it. Alright, next pack starts off with a ragged playmate. Fear of Lost Teeth. Cautious Survivor, Dagger Maw Megalodon, Jump Scare, Friendly Teddy, Bedhead Beastie, Right of the Moth, Fear of Imposters, Split Skin Doll, Defiant Survivor, and our rare is a Blaze Mire Verge. Not bad, we'll take those. Oh, we got Double Land, and a Foil Shepherding Spirits. And an insect token. I need these. Need those for this deck. All right, lat. Oh, I gotta put this one in a sleeve. So we got another one of the untapped dual lands. Perfect color spread right now because I'm playing a lot of Jund lately. Last. Play Booster, Fanatic of the Harrowing, Grasping Long Neck, Don't Make a Sound, Jump Scare, Ragged Playmate, Fear of Lost Teeth, Terramorphic Expanse, Clockwork Percussionist. Normally, when there's a Terramorphic Expanse or any of the sack lands in a set, you wind up with like 40 of them, and that's the first one I've opened. Rite of Passage, Fear of Imposters, Split Skin Doll, Ooh, Roller Coaster Ride, Delirium, if a source you control would deal non-combat damage to a permanent or player while there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard, it deals double that damage instead. When the Roller Coaster Ride enters, it deals X damage to each of up to X target creatures. So you can just put it in play for cheap, X equals zero and get the delirium ball rolling or you can do some damage with it. It's a very palpable card. Island, foil, tunnel survivor and a staircase, mountain, mountain art. Very cool. Chainsaw and roller coaster ride. If we were building like a If we were building a sealed deck with this, that'd be crazy. Okay, now we're on to the big stuff. Dusk Morn, House of Horrors, Collector Boosty. So these include 11 to 13 traditional foil cards, may contain a bunch of card numbers, Includes five cards of rarity, rare, or higher, four uncommon, five common, and one land. Japanese showcase land cards in 9% of boosters. Fractured, fractured foil, Japan showcase in 1% of boosters. So there we go. Those are our chances. I don't know what order to do these ones in, but... Tokens at the back, so I'm assuming we'll start at the front. All right. The Hand That Feeds. These are already a little curved out of the package. Hand That Feeds Foil. Don't Make a Sound. Fear of Surveillance. Erratic Apparition. Fanatic of the Harrowing. Sporogenic Infection. Pyroclasm. What? This is our first pyroclasm too. Patched plaything. We've got a cursed windbreaker. Oh wait, that's a white. And that's a red. And that's a white. 
We've got a Full Art Mountain. Marina Vendril's Grimoire. Seance Board. Oh, this is a Commander card. Full Art or Extended Art Seance Board. Ghost Vacuum, sick. Love this card. We get a Full Art Restricted Office Lecture Hall. This is a nice board wipe. And then Hexproof later. And we get a Reluctant Role Model in the Alt Art. And a Gremlin Token. It's not very good. I think the Ghost Vacuum might go for a few bucks eventually. I wonder what it's at right now. Shop. Vacuum. It's not like three bucks, but they're sold out everywhere. Like it's a big card. It's a good get. Uh, yeah. So number two, I would really just love one Japanese showcase. I don't even care what it is. I just haven't been able to get my hands on a lot of Japanese cards, except for some of the planeswalkers from War of the Spark, but Tunnel Surveyor in foil, Friendly Teddy, Grab the prize. Slavering Branch Snapper. Stocked Researcher. Killer's Mask. Fear of Exposure. Optimistic Scavenger. And a Saw. We've got our land. Now we've got Kona. Rescue Beastie. This is a really good card. Persistent Constrictor. This is our commander card. Zombie Snake. And we got another Grimoire, but in the alt art. We got the Mind Skinner. In the full art. What are these ones called? Mind. These ones are called extended arts. Oh, okay. All right. It's not a bad card. Uh, not bad. Next, we have an Overlord of the Flood Pits in the extended art. Not bad, not bad, but we didn't get our Japanese extended. We got a foil spider token, which is great. Gonna go in my insect deck. I mean, that was pretty cool. I think, obviously everyone loves opening up collector boosters. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of variations of things. I wish that there wasn't so many like commons and uncommons in foil. Like I'd almost rather the pack be just those last six cards or whatever. Um. But I get it. They're trying to pad pad the packs. Something that all card companies do. And it's an unfortunate part of the getting people to buy more and try more. And I can't believe we got double Grimoire. And it's like the least... the least popular legendary artifact ever made. I'm excited about the ghost vacuum because they're hard to come by. Kona's really good. Persistent Constrictor might get a dollar or two. Mine Skinner's not bad either. Overlord of the Flood Pits is definitely like 
where the money is at as far as like what in this pack actually earned anything let me just quickly look it up so overlord of the haunt woods is the highest overlord right now um even the like standard version and then it goes overlord of the bale mark which is the black overlord and then we've got the white overlord so is this the actual worst one no i think the red one is the worst one Overlord of the Flood Pits Extended Foil, $10. Not bad. I think ultimately, like, the juice that's really worth the squeeze in this set is, like, these foil movie posters. I know you can just buy the secret layer. Actually, you might not be able to anymore, but... That's really cool. I cannot get enough of this deck box. It is amazing. And we've got our glow in the dark die, which isn't really glowing right now, but it's pretty cool. I mean, we got some good stuff. We got some good stuff. And the box, let me see what it's like to put the box back together. The box is super sick because you just have this cool little TV. Put your movies on the top. Super awesome. I love it. I love it. Now we got all these cards. It's going to be a huge pain in the butt to um, put them all in the system. Put them all in the inventory. That's all, that's all she wrote, really. This has only been an hour, so I might even just leave this as one video. Or maybe I'll chop it up. Who knows? Anyway, it's horrible outside here in the Pacific Northwest, so please stay safe if you can. If you need to go out, um, bring a rain jacket, umbrella, be kind to yourself. I hope that you see cute dogs and I hope you eat something delicious. But give yourself some grace right now. There's a lot of heavy stuff going around. Uh, there's a lot of heavy juju in the air. Just give yourself a little bit more grace than you normally would. And I think we're all going to be um, okay in the end. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one.